Niger has the United States and France in shambles after kicking out both countries over the span of the last few months. After ousting the previous puppet of the West, we now have an anti-colonial government in Niger that has no tolerance for United States and French influence. This is a huge blow to the United States and the West because Niger has been a strategic military location used by France and the United States during their counter-terrorism operation. In fact, the United States is now forced to close a $100 million drone facility that they just made in Niger last year. Just fantastic use of our taxpayer dollars, by the way. The West has been so concerned with Niger's new anti-colonial mindset that they sent Victoria Newland there as a obvious threat. Victoria Newland in the West in their very smug and condescending way, wagged their finger at Nigerians and warned them about Russian and Iranian influence in their country. Nigerians were so offended by this statement by the Biden administration that they responded by kicking the United States military out. The ridiculous belief of the West that Africans have to be told by Russia, Iran, or China that United States influence in their country is bad is absurd. As if Niger needs a reason to dislike France and the United States. The fact that the United States and France have to blame Russia and Iran for Niger kicking them out of their country shows that the United States is facing a giant problem of legitimacy and declining influence on the global stage. Niger, in many states in Africa, is embracing China and Russia because while the United States bombs, Russia and China build.